Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Story makers. Midnight. Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Ah, yes. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> they don't snap. What do you mean they don't snap? They, they, they don't snap. They're not the same. Well, I, I think jelly means your shoes don't match. Mm. They're not a pair. Mm. It's a simple mistake anyone could make. Ooh. It was dark when I got dressed, OK? okay. Mm. The, the children in the library were thinking a lot of, about things that were the same today. Oh, oh, yes, yes. They were playing some very funny games. <laughs> Come and have a look, Milton. Mm. <laughs> Socks? How can anyone think that smelly socks can be fun? They're not smelly, Milton. Yeah. They're all nice and clean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but how can you have a game with a load of odd socks? Easy, Milton. Jackson, yes. you pick one. Oh, uh, oh this one. Mm. <laughs> now, now we find one that matches yeah. it <laughs> to make a pair. <laughs> can you help? Mm. Um, is this one the same? No. no. <laughs> what about this one? No. Oh. It's close. <laughs> what about this? One. Aha! Yeah, you see, it matches. It's a pair. Mm. There you go. <laughs> oh, or perhaps you prefer these, Milton, to go with your unmatching shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I think it's time for a story. Mm. And these are the perfect inspiration. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know by now that this is where we need your help. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Smelly socks. <laughs> imagine, 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 imagine a story. What's it going to be? Oh, what story is it going to be? Um, it's a playbook. <laughs> is, is, is it about things being the same? Well, it's called Sisters, so it might be. Our names are Nady. And Rakea. Everyone thinks we're twins. We have the same colour eyes. The same dark hair. But no, we're not twins. It's just not fair. I'm a little louder. My feet are bigger too. I like pink. I love green. And yes, I'm taller than you. I like my hair in pigtails. A ponytail for me. Teddies are my favourite toys. And I like dolls, as you can see. When I go out, I like to wear a dress. When I hit town, it's jeans I like the best. I really love to paint. I prefer to draw. For dinner, I like chicken. But I like pizza more. My favourite drink is apple juice. It's orange juice for me. For pudding, I have strawberry ice cream. It's vanilla for my tea. So you see, we may be sisters. We may look like we match. But bear in mind, there's two of us. We're separate, not attached. <gasps> snap! Snap, snap! 
Oh, <laughs> oh sausages. I win again. Mm. Oh, uh, I'm hopeless at Snap. Why don't we play a nice game of dominoes, Jenny? Um, uh, I've got a better idea. What's that? Well, why don't we put two of the matching Snap cards into the story machine? Oh, uh, and yes. maybe we'll get a story. All right, let's put in the fishes. OK, come on. Uh... Oh, will you help us get the story machine going? Yeah, just use a little imagination. In they go. Oh. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a Barnacle Rock story. What's it called? It's called Puffy Love. <laughs> Once upon a tide at Barnacle Rock, Something spiky turned up. Rise and shine, barnacles under the sea. I found something spiky coming. The spiky thing lay on the seabed looking mysterious. It's, it's all weird and spiky, chimed the barnacles. I wonder what it is. Perhaps we should ask Papa Clam. Papa Clam, Ellie called. The lazy clam's still asleep under the sand. <laughs> oh well, said Ellie. I suppose we'll just have to wait until he shows himself. She wobbled off to find Electra. Meanwhile, Gruff the Pufferfish swam out from behind his slimy stone to take a closer look at the spiky treasure. Hello. He nudged its button with his nose and it puffed out to an enormous size. Well, 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 a lady pufferfish, he crooned. Aren't you lovely? I'm uh, charmed to meet you. Meanwhile, Ellie found Electra and Harry, who had been helping the seahorse baby learn her numbers. Would you like to come and see my spiky thing? she asked. Yes, please, cried the seahorse baby. Come on then, follow me. Ellie and the rest of the sea creatures crept up on Gruff and the spiky thing. What's Gruff up to? Ellie whispered. Would you like to see my den? Gruff was asking the spiky thing. I think you'll like it. It's behind a beautiful slimy stone. The spiky thing said nothing. Well, uh, later perhaps. Oh dear, whispered Ellie. Gruff thinks the spiky thing is another puffer fish. <laughs> Papa Clam had finally woken up and joined Ellie and the other creatures. That's no puffer fish said Papa Clam, trying his hardest not to let out an enormous guffaw. That, my girl, is an umbrella. Mm. The people up top use it to keep dry when it rains. Gruff gave the umbrella a big, sloppy kiss. Kissy, kissy, puffer, fishy, yuck, 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 chimed the barnacles. What's all the kerfuffle about? Gruff grumbled. Come out, all of you. I know you're in there. The sea creatures showed themselves. Now then. Gruff looked very cross. Who would like to tell me what's so funny? That isn't a puffer fish, giggled the seahorse baby before anyone could stop her. It's an umbrella, Lella. I knew that. Gruff looked sad. Don't worry, Gruff, laughed Ellie. I'm sure you'll find a girlfriend one day. <laughs> One side is exactly the same as the other. Yeah, it's called symmetry. Simmy what? Symmetry. Look. Oh, this one looks like a sheep. Very like a blue sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and the one next to it looks like a butterfly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Could we use the blue sheep to make a story, Milton? Why not? Pop it into the story making machine. Okay. Imagine, 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 imagine a, a story. It's a blue cow story. Blue cow and blue sheep. A good colour match. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. 
One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking up at the sky. Ooh, I wonder what it would be like to meet a cloud. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to meet a cloud, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off down the road. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. Standing in front of her was a field of clouds. So she went over to have a closer look. One of the clouds looked up at her in surprise. Bah! And all the other clouds joined in. Bah, 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 bah. I didn't know clouds sounded like that, said Blue Cow. Then she noticed something very strange. One of the clouds was not white, but blue, just like her. Moo! Hello, said Blue Cow. I'm Blue Cow. Oh, hello. I'm Blue Sheep. Oh, said Blue Cow. I wondered about that. I thought you were a blue cloud. Oh, no, no, said Blue Sheep. I'm a sheep and I wonder things too. Ooh, do you, said Blue Cow. Yes, said Blue Sheep. I wonder if we could be friends and wonder things together. Ooh, yes, please, said Blue Cow. No one ever listens to me in my wondering. Blue Sheep looked very interested. Shall I tell you about the time I went to the moon? And then there's the time I went under the sea. Oh, yes. I've been there too. I once met a mermaid. Ooh, really? So did I. And with that, Blue Cow and Blue Sheep became the best of friends and often wandered together. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to meet a blue sheep who wonders just like me. Everyone knows there's no such thing as a blue sheep. But we know there is, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> so, Milton, just why are you wearing shoes that don't match? Mm, they're not exactly you, is it, Milton? No. Well, actually, the answer's quite simple. Mm -hmm. I couldn't decide if my shoes should match my purple handkerchief. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Or my green one. Oh. <laughs> oh, or your blue one. Or your yellow one. Or my orange one. <laughs> so I thought, does it really matter? Why not have a pair of shoes in different colours? Oh, yes. Mm, look, the window. Oh, yes, it's time for us. To be hidden away. Yes, yes story makers. Mm. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. Mm. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Ha, ha, ha.